Arthur Mercanti wipes off the gloves, and Joe Frazier moves in to finish it. Ali is hanging on. strong and Frazier gets in with a torrid left hook. Mercanti breaks the two men. And there's the bell ending this battle of champions. It was sheer courage that kept Ali on his feet, though eventually he suffered a rare defeat on points. In a career which spanned the terms of seven U.S. presidents and consisted of 61 professional fights, Ali was stopped only once in his penultimate fight with Larry Holmes. By that time, everyone except Ali believed he should have retired. But it was the trilogy of fights against Smokin' Joe Frazier which really proved what a brave fighter Ali was. This is number two at Madison Square Garden in 1974. A punishing left to the head by Joe Frazier. Well, I was in Manila for the thriller in Manila, the third Frazier fight, which has got to be, if not the greatest heavyweight fight of all time, certainly the most brutal and the most savage. There's round eight. They took everything out of each other for 14 rounds. And uh, both men, not only Ali, Frazier, they showed bravery beyond the call of duty. A big rally by Ali. statisticians recorded that Frazier had connected with 444 punches. A charming man out of the ring, Ali could be as mean as hell inside. His ruthlessness is something of a forgotten quality. When he finished a guy, when he really wanted to finish him, because you know it was him or, or, or the opponent, then he was second to none. He was brilliant, you know. He'd pick all the shots, vary them up, and uh, he'd take them apart. Take them to school, as we say in the business. Oh, the right hand shot. Did you see that combination of punches there, Jim? What a showman! In a one-sided fight with Brian London, Ali launched one of his most devastating assaults. Ali moving in on London. A fuselage of punches by Muhammad Ali. London goes down. The referee sends Ali to a neutral quarter and picks up the count. It doesn't appear as if London's going to be able to make it to his feet. The fight is over. Ali wins by a knockout and now has a record of 26 straight professional wins. He hit Brian London with a series of punches. He must have hit London with about 10 punches in one combination. Everybody regards him as a, a, a big, lovable um, guy, you know, full of jokes and charisma and all the rest of it. But once he got you in that ring, he was for real. And he did some very nasty things to a lot of people. He could be a bit cruel as well and be a bit hard. He knew I had a sly start and he just concentrated on left jabs on my eye and, and it was pumping blood. And then the referee had to jump in and stop the fight because my eye was so badly cut. A barrage of ripping punches by Clay. 
Archie Moore had been a, a legend for years and years, and he just took him apart at the scenes. He just went in there, took his time, had a look at the fella, worked it out, maneuvered him around, and just used his agility to stop the guy. To get in that one big punch to take Clay out of there. Ripping punches by Clay, and Moore goes down. Cassius raises his hands over his head. Courageously, Archie gets to his feet. Moore is sent to the canvas again by a barrage of punches. For the second time, Archie gets to his feet to face the inevitable. Ripping punches by Cassius Clay, and it's all over. Clay wins by a fourth round knockout, as predicted. The pupil had overcome the master. Archie Moore had been Ali's first ever professional trainer. The rugged South American Oscar Bonavina was opponent number two for Ali during the comeback from his three and a half year boxing exile. It was a tough fight and Ali had been hurt in the ninth. And now it's Ali in trouble. Ali is staggered. Bonavina moves in trying to knock out Muhammad Ali here in the ninth round. I think he knew when the chips were down how to put the pressure on as he did against Oscar Bonavina. He knew when to execute. Uh, he knew how to gather in. He had will to win and he had pride. Gather in all his ability and then explode. A murderous left hook by Muhammad Ali sends Bonavina to the canvas. The referee picks up the count, and Bonavina is up at the count of seven. Ali moves in to finish it. Bonavina goes down a second time. Oscar's on his feet. One more knockdown, and it's all over. There's a three knockdown rule. Ali moves in, sends gripping punches, and down goes Bonavina. Let's look at that knockout once again from an isolated camera. Ali on the right. There's that big left hook. Down goes Bonavina for the first knockdown. Oscar courageously gets to his feet. Ali goes in with another right. When Bonavina goes down for the third time, the fight is automatically over, and Muhammad Ali has shocked the boxing world once again. A magnificent return to the ring for this great champion who has never been defeated. Oscar hadn't helped himself before the fight when he called Ali a chicken for refusing to join the army. Why you no go to the army? I will tell you Monday night in the first clinch. Ah, uh, chicken, you feet chicken. Okay. Beep, 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 chicken feet. Good, good deal. Keep talking. Chicken. Keep, keep talking. Beep, 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 beep. Now I know you're going to get a whooping. No, Did you cut your hair? Okay, go ahead. Did you cut your hair? Go ahead. I'll cut your you hair. You preach me now. He never should have started talking. Not with Muhammad Ali. Oh, money? Clay, Clay. Uh, <laughs> you Clay? I said Muhammad Ali. Clay? We, I will, you will call it when the fight comes on. Clay? Wait till the fight comes on. Clay? <laughs> Please tell everybody to get to your theaters. I've never had a man that I...